your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her. Isn't this, she... Is this the woman that married... Uh... Geoffrey? Ew, box. That's right, bitch. Bend over. Ethan made this for me. Did he? Cool. Get over it, you fucking scrub. Father. Much, Much excitement, excitement here. Ethan's landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do She's wish kind of a you and too. come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Anything else? No? Okay. Ah, my fucking fingers! Wonders made by man. By Lomas Longstrider. A gift mm -hmm. from Roderick. He's dead. I hope to see them all someday. Not gonna happen, mate. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. More it troubles me to even ask. I just fucking tweet. But you must appeal to Lady like. Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Back off. I'm masturbating. Look at her arms. Just like blub 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 blub. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come <clears throat> back later if you'd like. And that's fine. I just finished up. No, it's fine. Come in. Putting grenades in there? The fuck but you doing, boy? Pardon, milady, but. You all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just I'm, I'm worried, worried. About my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady That's Marjorie. That's his idea of fucking hurrying up, is it? I may be wrong. But it seems like you do. It's widely known that I work for Lady Marjorie. You should fucking I've know seen you, you can. before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Marjorie. Cersei. It's the one that married Joffrey, right? So I'm a friend. What? They I don't appear know who to be these people are. Some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? Okay. I thought you'd like to know. <sighs> Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a call. I hope so too. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. It's morning. Okay. It's clearly fucking like midday or something. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. It looks like a Come. fucking cat. There's something we must discuss. Graphics, please. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the Big North is much? family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. 
Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal set. This isn't a very easily uh, commentated game. She mentioned the northern girl in my service. Just talking. She painted you a traitor. Me? She was very pleased with herself. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you and, by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Now, slut. The fuck are you looking at, Ken? You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. I'm glad you pulled me away one foot to tell me that. Good luck. The animation is so bad. You can do this. Okay. I didn't assume I couldn't. Tyrion! Dr. Walks so fucking slow. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Yes. Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? What band? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Permission denied. Milady. Your Grace. Oh, Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. The girl can speak for her house. Yes, Your Grace. To the one true king. The one true king. Yet she didn't say which. That was the wrong thing. That was, that was, that was the wrong thing to say. She only meant... I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the North. If you would give her the chance to explain... Perhaps she can explain why the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Is it any wonder you were so Fuck. impertinent? I'm so bad at being a good human to... being. If you have any loyalty at all. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? Yes, your grace. Absolutely. I see. Despite the fact Roos Bolton allied with Walder Frey. If it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. Cock there me. are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. 
Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If there's a point See? to this, I hope you find it wrong. quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. Tyrion's the only the reason I watch Game of Thrones. ...with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their What is this bitch talking about? Shut You're up! from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she would... Let the would... girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. I was lying though, Marjorie. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Really, nigga? Hello, mate. You alright? I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannisport. Oh my god, so surprised. Even then he didn't trust Gruz Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. Cheers, mate. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I was trying to appease her. I think that was clear to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. Indeed. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? Oh. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I want to see the world burn. I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Good night, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Okay. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. I'd rather not discuss it, if you don't mind. Of course not. It must have been horrible. But at least it's over now. It's over now. I spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, Stupid you and I bitch. are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah? <laughs> what? It's true. Oh. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. He is quite handsome 
and quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows, we might meet our future husbands. Mm. Although, marrying a king? Maybe not. I can only imagine what that would be like. Fucking horrible, bro. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Fuck no. He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... A giant and a... What are you doing? Smoker. Well? We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was... Pleased by your display, Mira. Good. It I'm took glad it's courage to lie to her like that. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. Yeah. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Of course. Why not? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. I got a trust back. You were back. brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been She's easy. She's got to lie and you lie. You fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. They're all going to hate you, you bitch. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Can I mutter about you? I... I did have a favour to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. She's a spy, Go but, on. you know. Make it interesting. Uh, I don't know which one to click. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. She's a bitch. Joffrey knows only too well. me in this position. Fought for the Starks, and now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. It is that tire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't want to be in debt. I fucked up. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Mm. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. Pussy power. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, oh, my lady. Done. Let's like get what you want. Woo! I'm out of energy.